Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting here again. Uh, I'm working today on those envelopes. Uh, they are nice size and very deep and with this uh, it's like perforated top. I saw it a while ago and I already made once these envelopes and I'm making them again but a little bit different way. I'm using these envelopes. Uh, I think they are called C like Charlie 5. They are uploaded and I, I am using with window. I already tea dyed them. And what I'm doing is just opening those sides. I'm using this my knife to open them. This is more about decorating than to make that pocket so I'm just gonna go very fast with this because it's just super simple folding because that window here I'm kind of taking that window like my measurement and I think it's yeah it's always not glued properly in those corners so then I just folded those sides to take this frame like my measurement so from one side, like this, and from that other side I did exactly the same. Like this, and I hope I'm right. I'm gonna have a look if both sides are similar. Yes, they are kind of even. <coughs> then I just cut this side straight. It's that opposite side from uh, previous flap. I'm just gonna cut it straight to make sure that I don't have there any corners I don't want. And once I had these folds. I think I'm gonna take a bone folder to make it nice and crisp. Burnished properly. This way. And then this was my envelope. So I'm gonna fold it this way. And here I'm taking like my measurement this white strip and I'm just folding this edge to the cover that white strip. That's all my measurement. I'm not taking any other measurement. I'm just folding it by hand. <coughs> now I need scissors and cut these corners. Where is the fold? So here will be my pocket and now that other end I just fold it about one quarter, one quarter of inch from the edge, I think like this. Then I took the glue. I think here I will prefer probably, <coughs> pardon me, oh, uh, not hot glue, glue, glue stick. If I will find any, yes, I do have. With that glue stick, it's probably much more better here. Oh, it's kind of very cold, and when it's very cold, it's like frost. <laughs> it doesn't glue. Come on, work with me. Okay. I'm gonna fold it over and take that bone folder and burnish. And the same, I'm gonna do that opposite side. Put a glue on all that fold. Fold it. And burnish like this. 
<coughs> so here I will have my pocket and here will be future flap of my pocket but I would like to have that end like uh, those uh, envelopes flaps so I'm gonna just fold it this way to put those corners together and cut it a little bit not too much just a little bit to make it decorative and because as you can see my tea dyeing didn't go well <laughs> it didn't tea dye all that envelope i'm not sure why it's kind of just half of that envelope <laughs> very good so i'm gonna use a uh, distress ink and I'm gonna distress all those edges all around I have distressed all these edges as you can see and I already sew it all around uh, just with simple stitching not by hand but by <laughs> sewing machine so I did this so we've got pocket and that uh, top flap and this top flap I would like to decorate somehow I choose for that I've got here uh, Teresa Collins stamps and I choose unfortunately I don't have package for these and I'm not sure if they do have some names they probably don't even have some names daily stories maybe this one it's from same collection I am really not sure uh, I choose this and this and here that number it's from graphic 45 from abc collection so um, i've got here this on that other side i've got from vintage collection and i don't have package from this one as well i've got this uh, column so first i'm gonna stamp that column I think I'm gonna place it somewhere here. Oh, sorry. Hopefully. Ah, yeah. That, that, that looks good. And I did stamp this column on paper before. And I did cut it out. Uh, <coughs> oh, this way. Upside down. I did cut it out so now I'm gonna place it over it and I'm gonna put ink on this and I'm gonna stamp over it like this press it properly because that envelope it's not flat flat yeah good good I like it so I've got my stamping and now I'm gonna take um, this is cutting board uh, I bought in Lidl it's from Crelando oh sorry I think it's Crelando they do have amazing stuff and mostly I find them in Lidl. So I've got here this cutting board or cutting trim and it has that, uh, this. Perforated, uh, perforated knife, which will not cut this uh, top flap at all. It will just perforate it line. So I'm gonna do just one cutting. It's more for decoration. It's inspired by those old postage envelopes where you had two columns. One was on the top where you're supposed to write. It was uh, on money for money or for sending something somewhere. And on the top was some uh, some lines where you had a chance to write uh, maybe amount of money or address and then here it was like receipt that you send it uh, they turned it off and you kept that that bottom and here was like sti sticky strip so all this 
was glued together and you you kept this end and the rest was sent somewhere and i do have here this uh, this die it's from mariana design i don't have uh, that proper package but i but i can show you this uh, Marianne, Marianne design, Marianne design. It's from her collection, and I think uh, maybe this is called Annie's border. I think it's called Annie's border. And I'm gonna uh, not cut uh, my envelope. I'm gonna use it uh, for embossing effect. I'm gonna place my plate to my embossing uh, machine this way this uh, this plate for it's uh, adapter B for embossing then that plate then this uh, mat my paper and I can see where is that perforated piece and where is a fold so I know I would like to have it close to that fold so I'm gonna place it probably here I think and I'm gonna put on the top piece of cardstock because I don't want to get my other plate totally perforated <laughs> And I'm gonna just emboss it with this uh, with this layout. I'm just gonna emboss it. Just bear with me. So we have embossed effect, and it's really beautiful. I really like to do this technique. I totally forgot about this technique, and I think. Sometimes it's good to remind, you know, few different things we can do. For decoration. For decoration, I'm gonna again use those strips. They are leftovers from office paper. It's from that. I think it's called layered paper. Where you have box of papers which are never ending. They are put together and you have to rip them. So I do have here this strip. Use a little bit more that distress ink, and I love to use those perforated strips because they are beautiful embellishments. And I'm gonna use it here. Yes, I will use it on that top. Mm -hmm. My glue is very weird. It's very weird. I think I made another hole <laughs> in that top with my needle. gonna put it here and here on the bottom I've got somewhere oh <clears throat> I've got here a few tickets they are from my new collection it's that uh, parcel delay it was inspired totally inspired by what was happened to me lately that the parcels was totally delay which I sent to my customers so this was totally totally inspired by that delay and I think I can, I think I'm going to use this one. I really like that. So this is from that collection. There are uh, some uh, layered pages, that uh, collage pages. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to distress it a little bit, not too much. And I'm gonna probably glue it straight away. I guess here. Here. And now I'm gonna just glue that uh, those flaps, those folds. So I'm gonna try to put glue here. <laughs> At least I'm gonna try. <laughs> if my glue will be not totally, 
too too lame. Crazy? It is crazy. Yeah. It belongs to me, so it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit of glue. I'm gonna fold it over. Make sure. Hold it, and I do have my perforated envelope like this. So I'm I'm totally <laughs> making many of these envelopes because I love to use envelopes. You know that I love to use envelopes and to decorate them somehow. It's so much fun. It's relaxing, and I'm finally using also stamps, which is good. I'm, I'm sometimes I have to push myself to pull out some some of my items, some of those supplies. So this is my sharing for today. It's very quickly sharing. I'm just gonna show you a little bit more of that parcel, parcel delay. Uh, this I already could. There are fold folders like this. You just need to cut it and then fold these. Those lines. This is oh sorry. This is from another. <laughs> this is not there as well. These I do have actually in that vintage love collection six by four cards with different designs and this is from that parcel post collection this was printed out wrong also this envelope it's from this collection i've got there few different types of envelopes tags like this just cut them it's nine tags mini tags here's some ephemeras pockets like this and I think this one is there as well. I do have here printouts also from designs I didn't use later. <laughs> here are background papers. I choose those uh, I love the most from my stuff. I love there one of these old uh, ledger designs. And I do have there also a few small file folder pockets. Uh, this is file folder. As you can see here is that tab from file folder it has two tabs here and you need to fold it here to put those sides together and this fold over and it's like teeny mini small small folder and i do have here this one and some background papers collage papers like this and there are also journaling pages so uh, i was really not yeah i was inspired but not that uh, delay from my uh, with my parcel but how much amazing customers I have really if you are watching this my dear ladies thank you once again so much for all your amazing understanding with all that all that mess I appreciate that so much so much that you was so kind to me that you you were waiting for your parcel thank you so much thank you so much for watching I hope you will try to do something like this it's so fun to create envelopes and decorated them craft should be relaxing so go to sit down go to do some small small relaxing craft i hope you are well i wish you amazing day take care about yourself and i hope i will see you soon bye